how to connect Zoho Mail to Shopify. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how simple and easy it is to connect your Zoho Mail platform to your Shopify store. So it is going to be a very simple step and a very easy procedure. So we are going to head over to uh, Zoho.com. We need to sign in into our account first and then we are going to create our mailing address and also uh, mail in general basically where or how you can use zoho basically it is going to be a platform that will allow you to create a website you can have for example some messages calendars mails and etc so i'm going to need a specific uh right there uh email on zoho so i'm going to have here for example jack smith for example like that i can go ahead and create it one two three like that maybe i'm going to have it created just like this and then we are going basically to have the email set up and after that we are going to start receiving uh, the specific emails now we're going to head over shopify as you can see this is my shopify store now basically this is the zoho mail we're going to wait for the account to be created as you can see it is going to take a little bit of time from you but it is okay you need to bear with the process now back to the shopify store we're going basically to click on the uh, search and type in zoho so basically you're going to search on the shopify app store some apps and you're going to find everything from here now we can go ahead and have the zoho integration and the other zohos like zoho books tools or packages and etc so we're going to select only zoho integration it is going to be a uh, new app that will allow you to synchronize the contacts into your zoho account so I'm going to install this app. This is a new app. As you can see, we have no rating yet uh, and also no reviews. We're going to wait for it, install it. Basically, it is going to be free, particularly free. We're going to wait for the app to be installed. And here we have it. Now, uh, the goal or the objective from this app is going to be very simple. We're going to synchronize the Shopify customers to our Zoho mail link. So we are going to um, first pin to the navigation of the Zoho like that or the Zoho integration app. And from here, we're going to find emails, last names and first names for all the uh, Shopify um, customers. Now I'm going to take a look to the Zoho mail or emails. So basically it has been opened as you can see the emails are going to be from here and there now what we're going to do basically is to head over again at the Shopify store of ours and we're going to head over the settings so from the settings we're going to find the credentials that we're going to connect our Zoho account from we need a client ID a code a domain for example and a, a secret uh, as you can see a client so how we can get those basically we're going to visit to the zoho developer console i'm going to open up the tab you can use the instruction that you're going to find in here and etc you can go ahead and generate a code from here and also the tokens and then you're going to set them right there for the main go ahead and use or select the domain that you have found from for example i'm going to use the european domain the code we are going to wait for it until it is going to be shown so after we have clicked on zoho developer console we're going to find the clients i'm going to delete this because i have already created one this is going to be a start from uh, the scratch we're going to have the uh, zoho api console click on get started now we are going to find a shoes a client type option so we're going to find five options or five client types in here we're going to have the self client why because it is going to be a, a confidential 
information about your only account on Shopify to transfer to the Zoho mail link. So we're not going to have a client based application, not uh, any application, but a self client. Click on create now. Make sure that the client type is still self client. If it is going to be changed, go ahead and have the self client. Because if you're going to have client, for example, based application, you need to put the Z Java script domain, the authorized URIs and etc. It is not going to be something that we can uh, have in here in depth, but because it is going to take a little bit of time, we're going to click on create. We're going to make sure that we are going to click on the OK button and we're going to have the client secret and the code. So we're going to have the client secret like the client ID. We're going to put it here just like that. Now for the client secret, we are going to copy it also put it here for the code. Also, it is going to be right there. So for the scope, we're going to create the uh, code. So for example, we are going to put a scope right there and put a description. For example, code. I'm going to uh, put a time duration uh, here. As you can see the invalid scope, it is uh, going to be uh, something that we need to set up for the scope itself. So basically in here, you need to have uh, the uh, access to the uh, Zoho CRM. Uh, it is going to be something a little bit unfortunate, but in a good way. So basically you need to have the access to the uh, Zoho CRM. You're going to create an account in here and it is going to be in the same name or the same uh, Google or uh, the identifier that you have used in Zoho. So basically you are going to put the scope and the scope you're going to find it into the credential helper this is the uh, as you can see here uh, the scope we're going to put the scope put a little bit of a uh, scope description like maybe a test for example and click on create and then it is going to see your uh, crl uh, or crm then we're going to click on create here we have the code now we're going to back to our uh, code put your code click on submit and wait for a few seconds boom so we have connected as you can see here the submission of our account and it is going to be right there so now from now on it is going to read up the information and synchronize them directly to the credentials that you have put basically uh it have uh, some maybe issues you're going to restart of the integration by having the code set up from the client secret to the uh, generate code. Do not forget that the uh, code should be from this prompt into the settings that you're going to find. Uh, as you can see, this is the Zoho integration. Basically, this app is not going to be a top tier app, but it is going to take uh, the advantage of uh, the uh, clients that you're going to capture from your Shopify store. Once we have did that and everything is okay, you're going to find all the emails into this specific area. So you're going to synchronize your email from the Shopify store to here. And also you're going to allow yourself to create emails and launch in some little bit of, I'm not going to say that it is going to be a campaign, but a email or an inbox that you're going to find in here. So we can filter, sort, and also uh, put or classify some emails. So that was very simple. And with the help of the Zoho CRM, it is going to be helping you a lot to start some campaigns. And these campaigns are going to be marketing campaigns. Of course, you're going to set up the campaigns, uh, set up the, uh, let's say here, the email templates, everything that you're going to find on the CRMs is going to be related to the emails and from here you're going to have everything set up in on uh, a platform because as you can see it is going to be relied or not relied but um, let's say here uh, connected to each other and this is going to be a good thing 
So that was pretty much it, everything for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you in the next one.